this yes. energy. I mean, it's so intense in here. These are the make and break moments when you're putting your plate together in the last minutes. I'm just sweating so much. It feels like I'm training like an Olympic athlete right now. These last couple elements are really gonna be the wow of my dish, so it's go big or go home. I'm having a smoke effect going, a smoking puck giving off a, a continuous stream of smoke around the plate. I plate my dulse ice cream pearls, and then I light the candle so it can melt down a little bit and have a bit of sauce on the plate. Artistically, I'm creating the look of a fire pit. I want flames. Loves the creativity. I was wondering what the ice component would be. I think it's coming right now. I want sprinkles and sprinkles of shiso leaves shattered all over the entire plate. This is my only ice component, and it has to work. My ice element is very risky. It's my vinaigrette in a balloon. I'm gonna freeze it with liquid nitrogen so that it forms an ice cup, and it's frozen on the outside, but still liquidy on the inside. Wow, look at that, it looks amazing. It's like a little red egg in a nest. With ice cream pearls, I'm also going to make hazelnut snow. I'm mixing hazelnut oil with maltodextrin and put it in some liquid nitrogen. I want it to melt like actual snow, like when you get snow on your tongue and then it's just gone. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and up! Wow. So nervous for them. Hey, man. Andre, can you please bring up your dish? I'll call this steak by the fire. Sake marinated ribeye with ponzu marinated eggplant and sesame cauliflower puree. The presentation looks spectacular. The ice element was very theatrical. Let's see how it all goes together. Very tasty, very savory, beautiful cooked ribeye, lovely medium rare, and the flavor of that shiso leaf is unmistakable. Thank you, chef. A dish that was well executed, well thought out, extraordinarily well presented. And what it says is how far you've come. Wow. Thank you, chef. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I have to say I love the choreography <laughs> with the, the shiso leaf. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my goodness, so many textures come through. I love those Japanese flavors. I've spent a lot of time there skating and touring, and this dish feels like a home away from home. Well done. Thank you very much. Andre, you've gone a long way in terms of presentation. I see perfect symmetry. The matches of color, the white, the red, the green, the black, very, very zen. I'm gonna try the amami. So this has been charred. I thought that that's an interesting way to do it instead of just steaming it. Wow. By charring it instead of boiling it, okay, you retain that sweetness. And that char just gives it the extra smoky Smoke. flavor. Go on fire. Don't let the ice cool you down. Thank you, chef. To have an Olympic gold medalist in awe over my dish. I'm just so proud of what I did. Jennifer. Please bring your dish up. This dish was to honor my dad. I've made scallops, some pork belly, a dulse ice cream pearl, a birthday candle made out of smoked pork fat. My dad's favorite drink was rum and cola, so I made a rum and cola glaze, and that's brushed on the pork belly. I definitely see the fire and the ice. I got that warm feeling, that sweetness coming from that scallop. Complements the pork belly perfectly. This sense of togetherness, of flavors from the earth, flavors from the sea, flavors coming together. Well, did your dad know that you're a great cook? Um, no, chef, it's kind of something that I got interested in, um, but I think I kind of caught the bug from him. He was just really multi-passionate and loved really good food. My father also passed away way before I was a cook, and we share some moment that we wish he was here, and somehow, I'm sure he is. Thank you, Chef. I almost don't want to dive in because it's so beautiful. No, please, wreck it. Just go. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> so 
flavorful and beautiful, but I, what I love is that you can tell it's made with love. I mean, you Mayo timers are just the best. <laughs> I always feel like you could knock on anyone's door out east and they would welcome you in for a, a lovely meal, maybe not quite uh, this elaborate. Thanks so much. Very intrigued by this. It looks like a candy that's been just wrapped in some tin foil, but I know it's more than that. This is a dulce ice cream pearl. Beautiful flavor. That seaweed really comes through. I've never had an ice cream made with seaweed. You have talent to burn. Thank you so much, Chef. To impress the judges, a gold medal Olympian. Feels like such a gift. Josh, please bring your dish up to the front. After listening to the critiques of the other two cooks, they were wow dishes. So I'm kind of nervous here. I'm really hoping that this dish is up to that standard. This chef is what I call prairie smoke. You know, when I think of fire and ice, I think of Saskatchewan, right? It gets minus 60 in the winter and plus 40 in the summer. So I have uh, a duck breast that I pan seared and cooked uh, and then smoked as it was resting. I made um, some wild rice savoy cabbage rolls. And on top, I have a lightly dressed frisée salad and also a sour cherry vinaigrette. You've cooked it rather nicely. Beautiful medium rare. It could have maybe done with a little bit more color on the on the fat side but is duck something you cook a lot with uh honestly chef this is the first time i ever cooked duck the cook on the duck is really terrific nicely seasoned that accompanied with that cherry sauce that has a little bit of a sweet and sour edge great idea great concept and the aromas of that smoke it's it's campfire it's it's cooking over an open hearth it's soulful josh well done this presentation, it's so layered and colorful, and it felt like an ambitious plan. I admire that risk, because at this point in the competition, you just can't play it safe. That vinaigrette, so good. Just a delightful, delightful dish. Well Thank done. you very much. Josh, I did not expect this from you. <laughs> it's incredibly creative. I love the flavors that you've captured in this cabbage roll. They're very earthy. You can see you have a real respect for tradition, but you also took a risk. You added wild rice to it, the walnut cream. Perfectly executed. Home run. Thanks, Chef. I really think this one hit the mark of everything. It was creative and innovative, and Tessa Virtue tasting it, and, and her also saying how good it tastes, um, it just makes you feel great inside. three knockout dishes. I saw fire and ice in each one of those dishes. Today's already such a treasure that winning would be cool, but like, this day is gonna go down as a win no matter what. Each of those home cooks showed so many different techniques on each of their dishes. The creativity was astounding. Any advantage in this kitchen is a huge, huge play, but this is the semifinals right now. Down to the last three. I want this so bad. I'm top three, but the goal is to be number one. It's the last mystery box, I gotta win it. <laughs>